Oh, hey, g'day guys, welcome back. I haven't made a video in a little while, that's because I had another bloody operation on my ankle. So, um, I'm out of action for a while and I thought, while I can't really get out in the boat at the moment, I'm going to do some maintenance and something I haven't done maintenance on for a while is the trailer. Now I noticed when I came back from my trip in the Tweed River, the lights weren't working. That's one thing I'm going to rectify today, so uh, I'm going to be installing um, some fully sealed LED lights and also I'm just going to go over a couple of things I check every couple of years. Um, that's the wheel bearings and I'll just inspect some of the the U-bolts and whatnot on the trailer so yeah let's do it. So first off I'm going to check the wheel bearings. Now I did change the wheel bearings in it about two years ago. I'm not expecting to have any dramas with them they're not making any strange noises or anything like that so first off we'll just jack the trailer up we'll pull the wheel out and we'll have a look at them all right so i've got the wheel off um, while i'm in here i'm just going to inspect the u-bolts the holding on the the axle there's a bit of surface rust, but that doesn't look too bad. Now, next thing I'm gonna do, take this cap off so I can inspect the inside there, see what the grease is like in the wheel bearings. So let's do that. Now I just use a, a soft mallet, hit it on the edge, turn it, hit it, like that. It starts coming away. Hey, and there we go. So as you can see in there, all the grease is still a nice blue color it's not white and milky and no water come out so that means there was a good seal in that and that no water has been in in the hub since i did these wheel bearings now i did these wheel bearings about probably two years ago so i'm pretty happy with that there's probably no need to pull it all out but i'll pull it out and show you and then i'll repack it with grease There's the split pin. Okay. So just pull that out. There's a little spacer, and then that's the so outer wheel bearing. And then the hub just comes straight out. And that's the inner wheel bearing in there. The um, inner bearing, I'm just going to put a bit more grease in it because it all looks good, it feels smooth, there's no scoring. I had a quick look at the axle, it's all it's all good, so yeah, not bad. So yeah, that looks pretty nice. Alright, so this is the outer bearing. Um, I've just had a look at it. There's no marks or scoring on the rollers, if you can like this get a made in Japan one they're so much better than the Chinese ones so normally if the grease was had it or you know there'd been water in there I'd put it in some petrol or something clean all the old grease out and then repack it but um, it's perfect so I'm not gonna bother just a quick inspection this time so I'll I will put some more grease in it um, so just pump a bunch of it in your hand and you just go around each side and force the grease into the bearing. The reason it's probably so in such good nick is I haven't done that many Ks like the boat ramp is literally 400 meters down the road from me here so and I've only done what one one trip to Fraser I think in the past two years so so once it's full of grease, just put it back in the in the hub. Just filling it with grease now. Yeah. So on goes back to the washer, the nut, and tighten it up a bit and put the pin back in. I 
mean, I'm the, of the opinion if the more grease sort of got in there, the better. There we go. Now, another little thing I do is get a little wire brush. Just make sure the face where the wheel sits on is clean. All the threads on the, the bolts are clean. So, put a little WD on there. Also, just check the back of the wheel. The wire brush, make sure it's clean. That's it, put the wheel back on. And on go the wheel nuts. Beauty. All right, so that's the wheel bearings done. I already did the other side, I didn't bother filming it. Um, that was fine too, there'd be no water inside. So next, I'm gonna put on these fully sealed LED lights. Now I like them to have no joins in the cable, so I've bought one that it's a fully sealed unit and the cable runs right from the back, from the light here, all the way up to the plug at the front. So there's, no, there's less chance of any water getting in and damaging the lights. So first I'll just I'll pull the old ones off. Um, I'll leave the wires from the old ones inside and that way, then I can use that as a cable to pull the new one through. Not bad, they lasted like 13 years, so pretty good. All right, so I just opened them up. Um, you saw before, these are a Nava brand. I think they're half decent. all the way to the end. Now I just gotta get it through there but I might pull the other other side through first. So I've got the wires all the way through now um, so I just have to shorten them and then I'll uh, put them in the plug. Now I'll take some photos of how they're set up on the inside here but um, it's pretty easy to look up a diagram on the internet to get your tra trailer plug um, wiring diagram so all right, let's do that. So I was looking at the old plug and I thought mm, for like 15 bucks, I might as well just get a new one. So went and bought a new one and we'll put that in and we should be sweet. Let's do it. The dog's in the way. Go away, Jack. This new one's a bit of a pain to get on. It's not the same as the last one. But with a bit of persuasion, there we go. Test it. Alright, let's hope this works. Right Left indicator. Yep, good. Alright, that's good. So the last thing I do, a little bit of grease on here. And a little bit inside the, I mean you can do it on the tow wall or wherever, but little bit of grease up inside the hitch just like that all right so that is a bit of basic trailer maintenance um, that I do on my my boat trailer if any of you guys can think of anything I missed or something I should be doing please let me know in the comments um, I was pretty happy with the condition of it considering the it's 13 years old and like yeah, there was the grease in the bearings was perfect so as I said earlier, I just had a, a second ankle surgery, so I've been out of the water, out of the boat for a, a little while, but I'm hoping um, by mid-August, it's mid-July mid now, so hopefully by mid-August I'll be back in the boat and be able to 
do a few more tinny camping trips. Thanks for watching. Got any questions? Let me know. That's it. It's a little basic trailer maintenance. All right. Thanks for watching. Catch ya.